2024 stands out for many reasons, with more than half of the Earth's population having the chance to vote, inflation continuing to bite, and further advancements in AI continuing to either impress or unsettle us. Today, we'll be looking at some of the numbers behind these stories in the 2024 Year in Data. When talking about the biggest stories of the year, it's difficult to avoid mentioning AI. On the financial front, investors went all in this year, with Q2 alone smashing records. $23.6 billion raised across more than 1,000 deals, putting 2024 funding on track to surpass 2023. OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT, Dali and Sora, have secured the lion's share so far, with the flood of cash helping to supercharge innovation. AI models now rival human expertise in select fields, and 2024 saw organizations start mass adoption of these tools. And then there's NVIDIA. If artificial intelligence needs an artificial brain, NVIDIA delivers. Their indispensable processes have made them the world's most valuable tech company. AI's rapid rise comes with a major challenge, powering the energy-hungry data centers driving its breakthroughs. To tackle this, tech giants like Microsoft, Amazon and Google are doubling down on energy innovation. Google and Amazon announced their bold plans to generate their own electricity using cutting-edge small modular nuclear reactors. And Microsoft aims to revive part of the iconic Three Mile Island facility, hoping to bring it back online by 2028. The urgency is clear, and with global electricity demand set to soar, energy investment is a key issue for private and public suppliers alike. In 2024, investors poured over $400 billion into global power grids and storage, and overall energy investment reached record heights, helped by unprecedented amounts going into clean energy. Regulators took aim at social media in 2024, with Australia leading the charge by banning social media access for anyone under 16. A November YouGov survey showed 77% of Australians support the move and support tougher penalties for companies that flout the rules. Meanwhile, the US has its own social media showdown, with TikTok at the centre of a high-stakes legal battle. National security laws passed earlier in the year requires ByteDance, TikTok's parent company, to sell the app or face a ban from US stores and websites. Not surprisingly, TikTok challenged the ban, but a US Court of Appeal upheld the law, setting a January 19 deadline for compliance. ByteDance plans to take the fight to the Supreme Court, but a US ban would deal a massive blow. The US is home to the second largest TikTok user base and the second largest country in terms of revenue, making this a critical battleground for the platform's future. The inflation crisis raged on in 2024, with the cost of living still hitting households hard. While inflation rates are slowing, prices are still going up and consumers are far from feeling relief. Everyday essentials like food and housing remain stubbornly expensive. Energy prices have dropped in some regions, offering slight relief, but other pressures like volatile shipping costs keep driving up prices. Wage growth has picked up since 2022, but in places like the European Union, it still lags behind inflation, leaving many workers worse off. For businesses, the fallout has been mixed. As consumers tighten their wallets, some major names, including Tupperware, Red Lobster, and The Body Shop, found themselves heading towards bankruptcy. Others have fared better, leaving a question as to whether the trend of rising corporate profits will continue. In the world of entertainment, among other headline-grabbing moments, the rivalry between Kendrick Lamar and Drake featured prominently. This went beyond simple diss tracks. The few delivered eight major releases that racked up over two billion streams on Spotify, dominating playlists worldwide. And speaking of billions, Taylor Swift broke records with her Eras tour, reportedly generating more than $2 billion in ticket sales. Spanning 149 shows across 51 cities and 21 countries, the tour officially became the most successful music tour of all time, wrapping up in December. The live music scene hasn't been as lucrative across the board, however. The UK alone saw at least 97 music festivals cancel or confirm this year as their last event, and rising costs coming off the back of reduced revenue through COVID make moving forward impossible. When it comes to major events, though, it doesn't get much bigger than the Olympics, and the Paris Olympics was something special indeed. The opening ceremony took full advantage of Paris's iconic architecture, drawing in 28.6 million viewers in the US and an average 31.3 million US viewers across the course of the competition. Organizers promised to deliver the games while reining in runaway costs and offering tickets for every budget. Looking at the environment, it was a year in which some worrying trends continued, but also one in which positive stories emerged. The Copernicus Climate Change Service stated that 2024 is set to be the hottest year on record and the first calendar year above the 1.5 degree warming limit. The US hurricane season was particularly intense, with Hurricane Milton becoming one of the strongest hurricanes ever recorded. 
The total damage bill is still unknown, but repair and rebuilding work continues, with estimated costs in excess of $200 billion. It is said to be one of the most expensive years on record. Many countries made great strides with renewable power. In Portugal, for example, hydropower plants and wind turbines alone accounted for almost 80% of power generation. And at one point, the country met 95% of its electricity demand with renewable energy. Overall, Europe continued widening the gap between electricity generation from clean and fossil sources. Inflation didn't just influence shopping behavior in 2024, it was also a major factor in which direction people cast their votes. This year, more than half of the world's population had the opportunity to vote, making it a record year for democracy. A noticeable shift in political power occurred, with many incumbent leaders facing significant challenges. Donald Trump's victory in the 2024 presidential election was part of this broader trend, with many voters opting for a change from the establishment. This anti-incumbent sentiment wasn't exclusive to the US. While many countries changed leaders, established leaders also saw their grip on power loosen. In India, the world's largest election saw Narendra Modi's BJP have their majority cut, making this the first time they needed a coalition to remain in power. South Africa's ANC lost its 30-year-long majority, signifying a monumental shift. In the world of e-commerce and retail, Amazon stepped up its same-day delivery efforts by expanding trials of delivery by drone in parts of the UK, Italy, and a third US state. Amazon say they are working closely with regulators and governments worldwide to offer customers the ability to order and receive products on the same day. The first drone took to Italian skies in December. If successful, Amazon's drone initiative is set to play a pivotal role in a rapidly growing market for fast, efficient delivery solutions. 2024 was also the year in which AI started to have greater impact in retail. From selecting items and finding deals to enhancing customer support, many consumers are keen to embrace the benefits of AI in their shopping experience. However, this enthusiasm seems to diminish among older demographics. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this look at the numbers behind some of the major stories of 2024. To keep up with all the information you need to stay up to date in 2025, head on over to statista.com and we'll see you next year.